All right, good evening. Uh, it's good to be back here. We're going to try flying a little 172 and some more pattern work tonight at uh, Centennial Airport in uh, just south of uh, Denver, Colorado. Uh, airport is KAPA. So we're going to see if we can't get this thing started here and uh, go from there. Get our beacon light on. Turn on our master switches. Go ahead and get our parking brake set here. Mixture is full. Throttle cracked. And let's go ahead. Oh, gonna need a little little bit of fuel turned on here. There we are. Clean that out a little bit. RPM's around a thousand. It's looking good. Strobe light now, light on. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our comms up here. So we will uh, tune our ATIS on Visibility one zero, sky condition clear, temperature one three, dew point minus three, altimeter three zero one six, arriving and departing runways one seven left, one seven right, visual approaches in use, read back all runway assignments and hold short instruction, advise on okay, initial contact that you have information India. Denver Centennial Airport, ATIS Information India, 0053 Zulu, wind 160 at 3, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 13, dew point minus 3, altimeter 3016, arriving and departing runways on 7 left, 17 right, visual approaches in use, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information, India. Have India. Denver Centennial Airport, ATIS Information, India. 0053 Zulu. Wind 160 at 3. We won't need our ATIS anymore. We will need tower and we will need ground. So tower is 118.9. So let's go ahead and tune up 118.9. So there's towers at 118.9, and we need ground at 121.8. Taxi to the ramp via Juliet Hotel. Monitor ground. Have a great night. Thanks a lot. Appreciate everything. All right. So there's 121.8 for ground, 118.9 for tower. And we have information in India. You're leaving the Bravo Airspace. 
space now, but just be advised you are in violation uh, there uh, at your current altitude, 5,000, showing you 5,500. The shell starts at 5,000. You want to keep an eye on. Uh, sorry about that, Charlie Golf Mike Whiskey Tango. Thanks for letting me know. I'll be aware next time. Let's go ahead and do our ATIS one more time. 120.3, we'll put that on comm number two. Go ahead and swap that here. Let's see if we can monitor number two. Tenio Airport, ATIS information, India. 0053 Zulu. Wind one six zero at three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one three. Dew point minus three. Altimeter three zero one six. Arriving and departing runways one seven left, one seven right. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information India. Okay. We're still good with India. Denver Centennial Airport, ATIS Information India, 0053 Zulu. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look around here. Take a look outside the plane. Things look good there. Now back inside the plane. Transmission to COM 1 and ground is 121.8. Centennial Ground, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, requesting pattern work and taxi with information India. Centennial Ground, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, radio check. 716 Delta Mike, Centennial Ground, focus high. Uh, this is uh, Cessna 716 Delta Mike requesting pattern work and taxi with information India. 716 Delta Mike, runway 17 left, taxi via Alpha, thanks for India. Runway 17 left via Alpha, 716 Delta Mike. Right, we did get our uh, get a hold of tower, so we are going to runway one seven left. I believe she said one seven left is what I wrote down via Alpha. Uh, so we are just going to go right up. What I do here? Apparently, I leaned the mix or got the mixture full, Rich, and cut us off. A little happy on the All right, there we go. All right, my 
let's give this a shot now. Let's get our park break off. All right, here we go. Sorry there, big guy. You're going to have to move, but it seems to be a little bit of a shortcoming there with uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. These guys are always in the way. sake of time, we are going to skip the run up and just assume that things are working as should. It's because it's getting late here uh, my time. Interesting. All right, so we're going to check with Tower now. Tower is 1189. So we'll go ahead and switch over to tower. And we'll get ready to make our radio call. Centennial Tower, Cessna 716 Delta by coding short, runway 17 left. One seven left, clear for takeoff, left close traffic. Seven one six Delta Mike. American five seventy six contact, Salt Lake Center one three five point seven seven. Approaching runway one seven left. Entered runway one seven left. Nine thousand nine hundred feet remaining. Finals clear. Runway clear. Get her lined up. First notch of flaps. And here we go. Well, we forgot our lights. I'll have to get those in a minute. I always get a little happy on things here and forget. So we forgot our lights. American that time. 576 did send at pilot's discretion, maintain flight level 240. Alright. Got positive rate. Climb. Pull our flaps up. Flaps in the other Flag position. Flaps ground, twin Cessna 310 Delta, IFR Daggett. lights in the cabin here. All right, and there's our 6300, so we'll go ahead and turn our left crosswind here. Delta flag, staff ground, flight plan of file. Ooh, we're all over all right, the place today. I think I got it now. Sorry about that. Three runs are over Delta. Still no flight plan of file. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn our downwind. Now they got fat fingers to call the sign, I'll refile. 
Chug off at Mike Whiskey at Tango, contact Oakland Center 132.2. 132.2, Charlie Gulf, Mike Whiskey Tango. So we're running parallel here to the runway on our downwind leg. Approaching midfield, I don't know if she's actually told us to call and report midfield, but we will go ahead and do so. Centennial Tower, 716 Delta Mike, midfield left downwind for runway 17 left. Six out the mic, runway one seven left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, one seven left, seven one six delta mic. Seven one six delta mic, can you have your transponder turned on so you're within thirty miles of a class Bravo airport? Apologies for that, I'll take care of that right now. So we had to restart. Staff ground, twin Cessna 310 in the Delta IFR or Daggett. Chess 310 in the Delta, thank you. I have it now clear to the Daggett Airport. Flagstaff 1, departure 2 Oats, then is filed. Columbia Sid, except maintain 1 2000. Departure frequency 1 tree 3.57, squawk 2341. Clear Flagstaff. Uh, Black step one departure oats is filed. Let me set maintain twelve thousand departure one three three five seven squawk two three four one twin cessna uh, three one zero in the delta. Twin cessna three one zero in delta read back correct. So we had that transponder on, but then we had to restart and that kicked us out. So we'll go ahead and turn our final now. Badly overshot that one. Clean this up a little bit. Shy Golf Michael Tango, Oakland Center, the Sacramento Capital Altimeter 299. Roger. down. Alright, flaps to 10. Bottle's full. Let's see if we can't do this a little better this time, a little cleaner. We obviously missed the transponder. This is where a checklist would come in handy, wouldn't it? Now we know why there's why they're a thing. Okay, positive rate. Pull our flaps in. Phoenix approach, this is Skyhawk, November 4, Victor Yankee, 20 miles north of Phoenix Sky Harbor at 4,800, descending. Um, I'd like to land at uh, that uh, Phoenix airport. Skyhawk 4, Victor Yankee, Phoenix approach, squawk 704, two, I done. All right, there's our 6300. We're going to go ahead and turn turn our crosswind. Now, there was an update today. Um, don't really know all the ins and outs of it. I saw a quick YouTube video uh, that made comments about sensitivity and things like that being changed. 7042 for Skyhawk 4 Victor Yankee. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn our left downwind now. Skyhawk 4, Victor Yankee, radar contact, 18 miles north, the uh, Phoenix airport. The Phoenix altimeter, 2997, information, Julia current. 2997, Julia is uh, Ada, for Victor Yankee. Okay, and we're still climbing. Brought our pattern in a little tighter that time. Let's see if we can't get some consistency going to that. Not sure how many, how yeah, much time we got here. Outside, class Bravo, I'll get you clear. It's near about one zero miles north. 
I'll stay clear of Bravo, 415. There's our pattern altitude. We'll knock the nose down, pull some power. Centennial Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, midfield left downwind, runway 17 left. 716 Delta Mike, your transponder is turned off again, runway 17 left, clear for the option. Not sure what's going on with the uh, transponder because it is set to own in the cockpit here, but uh, clear for the option, 17 left, 716 Delta Mike. Which simulator? Microsoft Flight Sim 20 and Cessna 172, steam gauge. All right, the transponder of that game doesn't work, so check the pilot edge client. Roger that, I will do that. San Francisco clearance, good afternoon, American 284 Heavy with you at Alpha 8, ready to copy our IFR to London where we have uh, India. American 284 Heavy San Francisco clearance, clear to the London Heathrow Airport, a truck in the two departure, Orca transition, then as filed, Columbia Citix up maintain 1-0-thousand. Departure frequency 135.1, squawk 7032. Uh, clear to London Heathrow via the truck and two departure orga transition. Uh, the sit maintain 10,000, um, and then uh, departure 1351, and then squawk 7032 for American 284 heavy. American 284 heavy, read back correct. Centennial Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike on the go around. 716 Delta Mike, Roger. Uh, I think I clicked for the option, so that actually uh, constitutes a low approach, just in case you, you weren't aware. Understood. I was trying to fiddle with the transponder to get it for you, and I uh, missed my altitudes there. So. All good. I got the transponder now, so that keeps you legal. Yes, I went and turned on Mode C in the web browser. There you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn our uh, left crosswind now. All right, we'll go ahead and turn our downwind leg. Feel like that update has made some differences today. Uh, doesn't feel like it's handling like it did last night. Uh, and I can fix that mode C uh, issue uh, in the settings of Microsoft Flight Sim or in the Pilot Edge client. I think there's a, a setting to automatically uh, squat mode C or enable that. And there's our pattern altitude here 7900. Pull some power back, see if we can trim her out a little bit. Centennial Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, midfield left downwind, runway 17 left. Not sure if you're wanting me to report each time or not. 716 Delta Mike, affirmative, just keep reporting each time as you're going to stay in the pattern. Runway 17 left, clear for the option. 17 left, clear for the option. 716 Delta Mike. And somebody else was calling that got stepped on. Say again. Uh, for like staff ground number 310, right, Delta so Retax, information box trot, that's why it's the aviation. 310 Lima Delta, Flagstaff Ground, runway 21, taxi via Alpha. 21 via Alpha, 310 Lima Delta. Alright, so there's our first notch of flaps. Go ahead and turn our base leg now. 
This is for Victor Yankee. Just verify you are indeed inbound to Phoenix this time, right? I, I saw you circling out there, so that's why I didn't give you the handoff over to Tower yet. Yeah, I'm just uh, getting lined up. I assume you're going to land me on eight. So, uh, yeah, I'm headed into, into Sky Harbor. Over to Yankee. Yeah, eight or seven, right? It's your choice, but you can pass that request along to Phoenix Tower, 118.7. We'll talk to you next time. 118.7, over to Phoenix Tower. Four Victor Yankee. Hey, what? Things are not handling quite the same today. There's some fluctuation in things here. We'll go ahead and turn our final, though. Phoenix Tower, Skyhawk November 4, Victor Yankee, about five miles north of you, uh, with Adis Juliet inbound for landing. Skyhawk 4, Victor Yankee, Phoenix Tower, did you have a runway preference? Um, yeah, runway 8. It looks like I'm lined up for that, or I can come in for that one pretty nice, 4, Victor Yankee. Okay, Skyhawk 4, Victor Yankee, clear to the Phoenix class, Bravo Airspace, enter a left base, runway 8. Runway 8, clear to land, wind at 0607. Clear to land for zero eight for Victor Yankee. Trail is definitely out of whack here. I'm gonna try to clean that up in the next go rounds here. Full flap. Power's cut. Eyes down the runway. Motor off. go. Alright, power in. Flaps 10. And we're looking for 55s to rotate. There's 55. We'll go ahead and rotate. And we're off. Positive rate. Flaps are up. So we see there's quite a bit of wind difference from last night, which is highly likely. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm experiencing a little bit of. Uh, handling differences, handling characteristic differences. Last night. There's our 6300. We'll go ahead and turn our crosswind. Definitely not climbing as fast as we did last night. Crosswind, our downwind leg now. Keeping the nose up on the horizon there. Let's continue our climb. Roll out. Roger, thank you. There's definitely some sensitivity differences. I feel like that might be one of the things that was in the update was some sensitivity, control sensitivity changes. Black staff tower, consistent 310 limit, delta holding short on my 2 one ready IFR departure. There's us 310 Lima Delta Flag, Staff Tower, runway 21, cleared for takeoff, wind calm. Clear for takeoff, 310 Lima Delta. Epic 8900 Mike, contact at NorCal approach, 120.95. 100 off our altitude. Centennial Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, midfield left downwind, runway 17 left. Hostel 716 Delta Mike, runway 17 left, clear for the option. 17 left, clear for the option. 716 Delta Mike. North Caliph Roach, Epic 899 or Mike's at 16,000 level. Definitely still drifting, so we got to get our lining up on the. Epic 8, Niner, Niner, Mike. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and roll out the power. It's our first bunch of flaps coming in. Go ahead and turn our left base here. Clean things up just a little bit here. Maybe we can get this show back on the road like we're supposed to. About 1,500 on the RPMs. Just under 70 knots on the base leg now. The nose down just a little bit. Go ahead and pull in that second notch of flaps. Final looks clear. We are not descending as fast as I'd like. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn our final. Number 310 Lima Delta Contact Phoenix departure, see ya. Actually, I think we're pretty good. departure 310 Lima Delta Go ahead and pull in our last notch of flaps. Line her up here. Throttle is out. Epic 899 Mike, uh, clear trick Sacramento Airport, it's going to maintain 10,000. Clear direct Sacramento Airport, uh, descend and maintain 10,000. Epic 899 Mike. Five six six, clear direct to Noir, and uh, descend and maintain one five thousand. The Jackson Hole altimeter three zero two eight. Probably in. Flaps to ten. So, rudders to hold her on the center line. Fifty fifty five. We'll go ahead and rotate, and we're up. Speed. All right, flaps are up. There's 70. Bring our nose up. Panamax 576. Let me know the information, Quebec, for Jackson Hole, and if you have an approach request. F Tower, go answer on 135.57310 uh, Delta. Can you confirm the frequency? Three one zero It's Phoenix departure one three three point five seven thirty three fifty seven. Thirty three fifty seven. Thanks. Three one zero Lima Delta. American five seventy six. Roger. Uh, I'll have your clearance in just a bit. Descend and maintain one four thousand. Phoenix departure, number 310, Lima Delta, 10,200, coming via set up to 12,000. 310, Lima Delta, Phoenix departure, radar contact. Yakima Tower, Skyhawk, 941 Lima, about 10 miles southeast, with information Charlie, full stop landing. Skyhawk, 9401 Lima, Yakima Tower, make sure to enter runway 27, report 3 mile final. Runway 27, report 3 mile final, 940 Lima. Give this a try here. And see how we how we work out here. Not climbing very aggressively. Try to clean this pattern up just a little bit. There we go. We're Number three one zero Lima Delta, clear Drake. Drake three one zero Lima Delta. All right, here comes our altitude. Push the nose over. Pull some power. Centennial Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, midfield left, downwind, runway 17 left. Cessna 4 Victor Yankee Tech, sparking via Alpha, and a monitor ground 1 on 9.75, take care. Taxi via Alpha, monitor ground, 4 Victor Yankee. Number 716 Delta Mike, runway 17 left, clear for the option. 
One seven left, clear for the option. Seven one six Delta Mike. Some power. Pull the nose up. Okay, let's go ahead and roll the roll into our base turn. Second notch of flaps. Take a look at final. Final looks clear. Clearance, clearance, Pilatus 271 Sierra Delta. Requesting clearance to Centennial Airport. Final, Final runway, runway one seven, seven left. Plus two seven one zero Delta Cramps is available. Advisor to copy its full route. Say again for Sierra Delta, please. Are you ready to copy? Yes, sir. All right, that's what I was asking. Plus 271 Sierra Delta, clear to the Denver Centennial Airport. Radar vectors at Dane Intersection, Alpha, Delta, Alpha, November, Echo. Victor 389er, Luff C Intersection, Lima, Uniform, Foxtrot, Sierra, Echo. Direct Jeffel, Julia to Echo, Foxtrot, Echo, Lima. Direct, maintain 10,000. Departure frequency 124.0, squawk 7273. Okay, one Sierra Delta has cleared direct to Denver Centennial Airport via Adane Victor 389 Luffs, direct Jeff L, 10,000 on the altitude 124. Point zero on the departure frequency and seven two seven three on the squad. Class two seven one zero. I'll read back correct. Denver Cisco Ground American two eighty four heavy with you uh, with the India ready to taxi. Back five seven six cleared. Uh, ILS Zulu runway one nine er approach and contact uh, Jackson Tower one eight point zero seven. Sunset. Therefore, we're zero in Lima, uh, about three miles out of runway 27. Our nine four zero one Lima, runway 27, clear to land. Clear to land, nine four four zero Lima. Jackson Tower, American five seventy six ILS Zulu one nine. Uh, American five seventy six Jackson Tower, runway one nine, clear to land. Clear to land, runway one nine, American five seventy six. Who else was calling? Uh, American 284 Heavy was calling, ready to taxi. American 284 Heavy, San Francisco, ground runway one left, taxi via, let's see, you're down there, taxi via Mike One. One left via Mike One, would it be possible to get uh, one right, just a little bit longer? For American uh, 284 Heavy. Mike 24 Heavy, that's fine. Runway uh, 1 right, taxi via Mike 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 1, cross runway 1 left at Mike 1. Uh, clear runway 1 right via Mike 2, cross Alpha 2, Alpha 1, uh, then cross uh, 1 left, and then uh, via Mike 1 for American 284 Heavy. It's cross runway 1 left at Mike 1, sir. Uh, we'll cross one left at Mike 1. Thank you for American 284 Heavy. Epic 8 on another mic, contact NorCal approach 127.4. 127.4, Epic 8 on another mic. Neo Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, midfield left downwind, runway 17 left. So 716 Delta Mike, runway 17 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 17 left, 716 Delta Mike.
NorCal approach, FK 99 mics at 10,000 level with approach request for the visual on runway 30. The K999 mic, NorCal approach. Uh, thank you. I have your request to Sacramento Executive Altimeter 2999 information. Golf is current. I can't remember if you told me had that. Uh, descend and maintain 3000. Descend and maintain 3000, and we do have Golf at the K999 mic. Nine four zero one clear traffic. Who was calling? On a looks clear. Nine four zero one Lima. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, nine four zero one Lima. Uh, clear of traffic. Yukiyama. Clear of what traffic? You clear of the runway? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Clear the runway. Uh, 9401 Lima, taxi parking via Alpha, Main Street, let's get there. Alright, uh, taxi clear, Alpha, uh, remain on your frequency, have a good day. one more in us before I have to wrap this up and call it a night. North Caliper, Epic 899 or Mike, I just wanted to advise we do have the field in sight. There's 55, we'll rotate. Epic 899, Mike, Roger, cleared visual approach, runway 20. Clear for the visual approach, runway 20, Epic 899 or Mike. and turn our crosswind there. I uh, snuck out and took a screenshot there. What a sunset. What a sunset. Okay, San Francisco ground, American 284 heavy, got turned around a bit. I'm at uh, Mike instead of uh, Mike one. Uh, just wanna make sure I can cross one right. Mike 284, uh, runway 1 right, taxi via Mike Lima, Lima 2, cross runway 1 right at Mike. Cross one way, 1 right at Mike, and then Lima, Lima 2, uh, hold short one, one, 1 right for American 284 Heavy. Mike, my 17 left, clear for the option. 17 left, clear for the option, 716 Delta Mike. Okay, here we are coming. 
Oh. In the numbers. Throw some power out. Keep the nose up. There's our wide arc. Bring in a notch flaps. Go ahead and turn our base. Sky Harbor Clarence, this is Sky Hospital number four, Victor Yankee with Juliet. I am at the General Aviation Parking North uh, west of the field. Uh, I would like to depart uh, east northeast. Final is clear. Left. Scott 4 Victor Yankee Phoenix Clarence D. You're clear to the Phoenix Class Bravo Airspace. Maintain VFR out of below 3,000, out of below uh, 5,000 until advised. Departure frequency 119.2, squawk 4346. Short final runway 17. Departure frequency squawk 4346 and stay below the Bravo. Um, just 5,000. 4 Victor Yankee. And you won't be able to stay below the Bravo, so you're in the Bravo right now. Maintain a VFR out of below 5,000 until advised you're clear to the Bravo airspace. Sorry. Okay, I uh, cleared through the Bravo and stay below 5,000. 4 Victor Yankee. Scott, 4 Victor Yankee, read back correct. Jackson Tower, American 576 off at Alpha 1. American 576, taxi 2 parking via Alpha, remain this frequency today. Okay, to the parking uh, via Alpha, this frequency, have a great one. San Francisco Tower, American 284 Heavy with you, uh, holding short runway one right. We are uh, ready for departure. American 284 Heavy, San Francisco Tower, runway one right, cleared for takeoff, one 28013. Clear for takeoff, runway one right for American 284 Heavy. NorCal Approach, FK 99 Mike, we're on a one mile final for runway 20, uh, never got handed off. We're going to go around. Navigate out of my, can we call a little sooner? I'm happy to get you over to the tower. Sorry, sir, I've got a million square miles of airspace. I'm looking everywhere else. Navigate out of my, uh, just make left close traffic and contact executive tower 100.5. Copy. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll contact tower. Left close traffic, 899 or Mike. Centennial Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, clear runway 17 left, holding at Alpha 8, looking to taxi back to Alpha Ramp. Cessna 716 Delta Mike, taxi parking via Alpha, remain this frequency. Taxi via Alpha, remain this frequency, 716 Delta Mike. Executive Tower, Epic 899 or Mike's on the uh, crosswind for a left downwind uh, to come around for land on runway 20. Epic 899 Mike, Centennial Tower, runway 20, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 20, Epic 899 Mike. American 284 Heavy, contact NorCal departure. Over to NorCal departure for American 284 Heavy. Phoenix ground, Skyhack November 4, Victor Yankee, ready to attack the takeoff for a northeast departure. Departure American 284 Heavy with you at 2200 for 10000. American 284 Heavy, NorCal departure radar, contact climb, maintain follow 190. Maintain a flight level 190 for American 284 Heavy. Number 4 Victor Yankee, Phoenix Ground, I need to know where you're parked. I need to know if you have information, Juliet. I have information, Juliet, and I'm parked northwest of the field in general aviation parking. 4 Victor Yankee. Sky 4 Victor Yankee, runway 8 Tex via Alpha. 
Taxi via Alpha to runway 8 for Victor Yankee. Phoenix clearance, Challenger 3452, Echo, IFR to Amarillo. Not the mixture. Challenger 3452, Echo, Phoenix clearance, good to the Amarillo airport, broke one departure. Maxo transition that is filed, maintain eight. That's going to do it. Let's take a look here at uh, War Flight and our pattern. Definitely got lacking a little bit there, some inconsistencies. Uh, but overall, not too bad. Night number two on Microsoft Flight Sim, uh, flying a little pattern work with Pilot Edge uh, ATC. So uh, anyway, we're going to call it tonight, and uh, we'll do this again another night. Thanks.